I've got a bit of progress. So cut a bit of a back angle roughly. And I've stuck some ears on the sides of the headstock. I've also glued on this little bit here, which is for my machine head. I bought some antique brass machine heads, They're quite nice. I don't like gold. And silver didn't, you know, chrome didn't really seem appropriate for, for a mountain banjo. Um, and I've not got the, the wherewithal to make wooden pegs. So I'm going with the, probably these machine heads. If not something similar, but with an open back, might look a little bit more ancient, old world. Um, but something like that. So that's gonna sit, it's gonna sit about there. That's what this block's for. I'm actually gonna have it truncating, the fifth string truncating, probably at the seventh fret to keep it out of the way. I know the standard is the fifth fret, but there's no particular need for that as far as I can tell. It's only a drone string. Uh, you tune it up, you don't capo it, or at least I don't. If you had the railroad spike, bing, probably. But uh, I don't know. it's beyond me that. Yeah, that's about it, really. Oh, except that I could show you how, because it looks a bit odd at being uneven the way it is. Uh, but this is my, but I haven't, I haven't finished cutting it out yet. But it gives you an idea of the template for the peg head. And if I put that on there, look, just about clears everything. So I've got the extra bits just where I need them. So far so good. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do next, but I have a confession. I've acquired a band saw. So, uh, can you see the drawing on the side of that? No? Roughly where the... I don't know. So I could, if I fed it in this way, I could probably band saw up to here, and uh, the headstock I can always hand saw. I'm hoping more prog progress shortly. Um, progress, we've got progress. Look at this. Well, hey, I made the template for my new shape peg head and I drew around it and cut that out. And I provisionally um, cut it down to size a little bit. My new band saw. Look at that, lovely. Save a lot of work that does. <laughs> so that's probably my line. So I took it fairly close, and I hope I've left enough for my volute at the back of the neck here. Uh, and I've actually got this in the wrong place, but I've sort of marked the back angle. So this will be the tab that goes in between my body sections. Yeah, so this will be the body. So I'd obviously cut the middle one away to make provision for the tab of the neck to bolt in. And I've done my star shape. So I've made it slightly longer, the top one facing the front of the body. So I think when it's done, it's going to look a bit like this. It's going to be slightly difficult because I've made this round. They're normally just square. So I've made it slightly more difficult for myself marrying the neck, the body. I think I might regret that now, but we'll see. But I've got to somehow cut that round. I could try and route it, I suppose. A bit violent at this stage of the proceedings. 
Uh, we'll see. But anyway, bit of progress. Looks nice down the head stuff. Well, there's a head great big lumps of wood stuck to the side of it. Now it kind of looks more like it's meant to be. Still a bit thick. The uh, planing it down a little bit yet. But that's the gist of it. Great stuff.